is a famous female singer of operatic or popular music. But according to Beyonce, a diva is the female definition of a hustler. But whichever definition of the word we might want to use, one person who never misses a chance to tell you just how much of a diva she is, is Goldie with the release of the single, You Know It. Listen to this song, you almost get the feeling that she is at war with someone. What could the concept of this song be? You wish you had it sounds like one of those uh, rivalry songs. The song is just about all those times when you feel someone is stressing you and you're like, don't test me. Do you know I say, me, don't test me. She feels she could get any man she wants. She's actually trying to talk from experience, I guess. Maybe the song is really saying about what happened to her. I call it the most arrogant song of 2010. Maybe she's having something with someone right now in her personal life. She might not be singing about herself. She might have his own reason. I think it's something that everyone would like to listen to. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the song. The song is mwah. When they went to um, Abuja for Raymond Dropesi's conference, something of that sort, Idris Abdukarim was telling Goldie, Baka, 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 baka. And before you know it, Goldie just, you know, she stored that mini piece of info in her, that her Goldie locking brain. We're in Abuja and went for a political rally. We artists, we're talking about our brands and what we all, the sort of songs we, we sing. Idris was talking about his album coming out and I was talking about myself. And Idris was like, Goldie, I have the perfect hook for you. You know, I see you and have the perfect hook for you. I like it. Gokolo way kind of people like what is that? <laughs> that was how the song came about really. It was just like a mixture of fusion of different people's ideas and now you don't want to mess with Goldie or she just might snatch that husband, boyfriend, lover, fiance that is currently rocking your world. <laughs> just kidding. What do you guys feel about the lyrical content of this song? She was good. She was good with lyrics. Lyrically, it's not that uh, very offensive. It might be offensive, but in real life, people are offensive. Things like that happen. There's nothing she's saying about us that's that is nice. I, I know you, I see you. I'm the girlfriend you wish you had. I'm the boyfriend you wish you had. You can move, you know, sorry, and the nose is far from this. I mean, you're trying to brag. Thinking about the lyrical content, I think that the, the song does what it's meant to do. You can brag about, which are, you can't brag about anything. Talk less, you are bragging about a man. I think it's that thing that happens a lot, you know? You'll be in a club and you see a guy winking at someone else's girlfriend. I think it's simple. You don't always have to hit things you know, over on the head. Even that bridge, if Fatito Bono Loma, you know, imagine the girls dancing in the club. Girls, all those girls, Aristo babes. Ah. They'll be telling themselves, if for Tito Bono, no magic, Obama is here. Yes. And at that part, everybody always said, like, you just say that like, <laughs> pause, 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 go back. Everybody always remembers the, if for Tito Bono, nobody remembers the chorus at all. So that's like, for me, that's like a huge relief because I don't want people to, you know, to think that I'm a boko boko, bo I'm going everywhere, boko boko in it. <laughs> it was a combination of myself and LD, definitely. I would not. You know, but LD, you know, LD has, LD has, you know, the, because he's, he's a rapper, the way he comes up with the concept of his lyrics, you know, is very, very different. You could tell, like, you know, where I was going up on the, we are not the same, oh, you know, he was going, we are not the same, oh, we are not the same, oh, and in my land, oh, it came much in a story, oh, yeah, cocky love, oh, yeah, we know be made, oh. You know, so I mean, it was a collaboration. We sat down together and we came up with the lyrics. From playing poker in a casino to getting into a cat fight in the ladies' room to getting all dressed up in a leather suit, this is one video that definitely stands out. But is it in a good way or in a bad way? When I first watched that video, I was very angry. You know why I was angry? I was angry because I had that concept in mind before. For a particular video for someone it was the video that caught my attention with the whole kenny's uh, kenny and you know still Goldie was the girlfriend of steel why the other girl was the girlfriend of ld 
So still is the one losing to LD. On a normal day, I don't think I would have you know lost. That's just the concept of the video. I really enjoyed it. it uh, uh, they really. Gangsta, it was cool. My favorite part of the video, I think it's when Goldie and Derele were dancing, and you know, for a split second, you would be like, Okay, where's Goldie? So, where's Derele? So, where's Goldie? It took me a long time to know he was really. They look so much alike. I kept looking, looking, looking. There's now what the cat suits. I told her, Remove it. Let me try this cat suits on. So, I what it is the same. Oh, let me reveal our secrets. <laughs> she didn't buy an extra one for me. It's the same one. So, I zipped it. It fits up perfectly. Look at me now. Uh -uh. I look like a malnourished Somalian refugee. I love screams. In Scream, Michael Jackson and Jenna Jackson had that play as well, where they were both doing exactly the same thing. Concept of the of the Matrix, where myself and Darren Lee were, were doing, we're wearing the black leather like cut suits and we're like doing the stuff. Um, I told Clarence, I was like, this is what I have in mind for this. <laughs> I was like, no, I was like, I wanted us to do choreography. And I was like, no, goalie, no choreography, no dancers. Just, just like, okay, if we're going to do just me, let's do it this way. So that it won't be boring. Let's just have like myself like this. And then, you know, during they will come wearing the same thing I'm wearing. And it will look like, you know, people will be like, is that during they should have one? Like, he'll come at my back and I'll move. And he'll be like, and I was like, Hmm, okay, Gold, you know what? We're going to do it. If it works, I'll use it. If it doesn't work, I'll use it only. I was like, it's going to work, trust me. And we did it, and it looked... When I saw the video the first time, it's like... <gasps> Sparing no expense, Goldie employed the services of producer extraordinaire LD the Don to produce the beat. Well, what do you guys think? LD is a professional. The beat is unique in its own way. The beats were like, were like off the hook. Okay, I got the song on my phone and I couldn't stop listening to it over and over again because of the beat. People know him to be a rapper and I think he's still a rapper. But right now he sings and he's still doing it well. He's, a, he's good. LD produced a nice beat to the song. What do you want to say about LD? Let me tell you the truth, this industry is nowhere without LD. I am not in any way disappointed in that music. LD did a very good job, wonderful job. Don't ask me about it because I'm going to go to LD itself. Because everything about LD is on point. Even LD as an artist, check all his songs that looks like R&B. They, they can actually be, also be like a rap song, they are, they are rhymes. So for LD to produce them, the beat was thick, the idea, the hook, the, the bridge, everything about the beat was on point. I like the beat now. Uh, yeah, the beat has to catch me because me, I like to dance. And if the song doesn't make me dance, I am not interested. Except it's a song that has got vocal power and we we'll listen to it once, I'll trade it with you. The beat came for the lyrics, like I said, you know, we, we sat down, we, we came up, we looked at different ideas, you know, of beats that we, you know, we wanted, we, you know, just listen to different, because he, LD has a lot of beats in his arsenal, so we're just playing different, you know, productions that he done down. And, you know, so we, ag I agreed on this style, that style, that style, and we blended it together, and I took the beat home. And he also had it in his house, and we're just like communicating via BB via phone. And As the years go by, it gets more and more difficult to categorize contemporary Nigerian music. It's kind of, it's kind of like slow, but it has dance rhythm to it, so it's kind of like dance hall with a little bit of R&B in it, so it's like a mixture of both of them. I don't really know much about beats, but part of high life and um, part of Afro beats. The beat is techno, pop is on point. This song is pop in the sense of it's Nigerian popular music, so I would say it's pop. You know it, you know it's a pop, it's pop. It, it's, it's going near el el electro pop actually. It's like on the verge of electro pop, but it's pop. It's still pop. I'm a pop artist. Now, yeah, what would you say is the message of this song? If you. If you've got a fine guy, hold him tight. Message according to the lyrics. If you're not smart, they get your babe off you. Message wise, we know yes, we shouldn't be singing such, but hey, this is a fun song. That she could get any guy she likes. Plus, she's hot. Plus, we already know that, so probably she was trying to say she's hotter than we think she is. So. The idea is that we do have girls that always fight for guys. So I don't think there is really a message in this. It's a message that's meant to inspire confidence. Yeah, the message of the song is basically don't mess with me. 
I don't like to sing that song. When I sing that song, I, I look like gay. Even guys that, you know, swing on the other side can sing to another guy. I mean, it's a free world. We're all, you know, liberated sexually. I think my boyfriend should hold me very well so that Goldie will not take me away from him. Okay, moving on. It's time to put a figure to You Know It by Vivacious Diva, Goldie. Concept behind this song, I'll give you 100. It's 80. 90%. It's 80. I'll give you 96. 110. Yeah, 70. 99.9%. I would give it a 90%. Video, 100. Video is 82. I said like 101%. The video is 90%. I'll give you 100. 99.9999. Perfect. 100%. I'll give it a 90. Lyrics, 100. Definitely an 85. 100%. 75%. It's 82. Maybe 85. It's 80 percent. 98 percent. 100 percent too. 85 percent. The beat, I'll give it 90. 100. The beat, 100. 80 percent. Beat, 80 percent. Message, 80. 80 percent. 85 too. 50. It's 45 percent. 90. Five, four, three, two, one. Hami Maleno, Muji, na sorry. Mule bakalawe, you know it, you know it. Mule bakalawe.